Hey, what's up everybody? It's Coach Matt, Primal Athlete Training Center, coming to you today to talk more about nutrition and food. In the last video, we showed you guys what I eat for my breakfast pretty much every single day. And we also showed you the 1,000 calorie protein shake, which seemed to get a lot of people's attention. I've already heard from a lot of people who are trying it, and they seem to like it. So I figured, hey, might as well show you what else is going on with my diet. On top of breakfast that I have every morning right around 8 o'clock, and on top of my shake that I have every afternoon right around noontime, I also have a kind of uh, late lunch, early dinner, right around 4 o'clock, 4.30 at the gym. And then I have another one, uh, pretty much the same exact meal all over again when I get home from the gym right around like 8.30, 9 o'clock at night, depending on you know what day it is. As you can see behind me, these guys right here, I've got 12 of these stacked up. So this is that third meal and fourth meal of the day uh, for Monday through Saturday. So there's 12 total meals, six days, two meals a day, 12 total meals. We're gonna show you a little bit about what's in these. So in the blue cases, might be tough to see, but in the blue cases, what I have are uh, three quarters of a cup of ground beef, three quarters of a cup of cooked jasmine rice, and half a cup of cooked mixed organic veggies. I just get the big bag at Whole Foods. In the circular containers, uh, pretty much the same thing, the exception being that it's chicken instead of ground beef. So at the end of this week, as I'm cutting back a little bit more calories, if I need to, if my weight is still a little bit high, I have three quarters of a cup of jasmine rice, three quarters of a cup of, this is diced uh, skinless chicken breast, and then half a cup of the mixed organic veggies. And then in these square containers, kind of how I keep it organized is by shape. I know I'm like a seven year old, but keep it organized by shape. We have got three quarters of a cup of cooked jasmine rice. We have three quarters of a cup of cooked um, ground turkey and half of a cup of the uh, mixed organic veggies. So you can see I'm pretty boring when it comes to food. I pretty much eat the same thing every day. Now the reason I do this is so that I can keep track of things like calories, carbohydrates and protein because those are very important. So I know in each one of these things, and I've got this written down on the whiteboard so I can read it and I don't mess up, but the half a cup of the cooked mixed uh, organic veggies, that has 60 calories for a half cup, two grams of protein for a half cup, and then approximately 13 grams of carbohydrates. A three quarters of a cup of jasmine rice, 33 grams of carbohydrates, 150 calories and about three grams of protein. The meat is where it does tend to vary. Obviously something like the skinless chicken breast is gonna have fewer calories and um, fewer grams of protein-ish, eh, depending on how much you use, but definitely fewer calories than something like the ground turkey and something like the ground beef. Starting at the highest, the ground beef has 35 grams of protein, 250 calories, zero carbs. The uh, ground turkey, this is for, again, for three quarters of a cup of everything, three quarters of a cup of ground turkey, 25 grams of protein, about 200 or so calories, depending on the brand that you get and how lean it is, but it's about 200 calories. And then the 25 grams, I'm sorry, the uh, three quarter cup of diced skinless chicken breast has about 25 grams of protein and about 120 calories. That's how we're gonna do it. Again, prepping your meals is key. I do all of this on a Sunday night. It's Monday afternoon. I do all of this right here on Sunday night so that it's there for me. I have a microwave at the gym, heated up at the gym, microwave here at home, heated up here at home, takes care of itself. Pretty simple, pretty basic. That's all there is to it, guys. That's what you gotta do. As long as you plan ahead of time and you plan your meals out in advance, it's very easy to gain weight, it's very easy to lose weight, but also what you find too is because you've already bought the food, you've already paid for the food, you've already cooked the food, it's a lot less likely that you're gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts or you're gonna go to Subway or McDonald's or Burger King because you forgot your food or you don't know what to eat or you're running around and you just only have a couple minutes here and there. Something like this, especially the way I eat it where it's cute cubed up, if it's ground or if it's diced up, like I dice up my chicken, I eat it with a spoon and just literally just bah, shovel that stuff down. Takes me about all of maybe two minutes to eat an entire bowl of that. And when you take one of those bowls and put it on a plate, like I do at home at night, 
it literally fills up the entire plate. It's a full meal, but I can eat it in about two minutes because the food's already ground up with the ground turkey and the ground beef. It's already diced up when I have like pork or chicken. Dice it up, nice small little bits, nice small little pieces. Eat it real, real quick. Maybe a little bit of pepper on top of it or hot sauce on top of it, and we're good to go. Real simple, real easy to keep your weight in check, gain weight or lose weight, whatever your goals might be, making sure that you're getting enough protein throughout the day. All right, so that's it from here. So you've seen my breakfast, you've seen my shake, you've seen my kind of early dinner and my late dinner that I have at night, and that's what I eat throughout the day. So if there's any questions, leave them down below. Uh, very simple to do, very easy to do. If you want more info, again, leave your questions, and I'll answer them in a future video. Talk to you guys soon.